No, no, I'm not gonna tell her I'm an alien yet. Not yet. Oh, what's going on, gangsters? Gregory Scott here. So are you ready to get that 1% better today? Are you ready to continue to build and push for that dream body that you've always wanted? If so, then you're gonna wanna watch today's video. Today, we're gonna be doing some high intensity interval training. So that means we're gonna have four exercises. We're gonna do them back to back with no rest. After you complete the set, we'll rest for a little while, but then we're gonna repeat the whole process all over again. So strength is gonna be tested, conditioning is gonna be tested, all of that, it's gonna be very gainful. So watch me demonstrate the exercises. Make sure that you really pay attention well. You wanna do it with the best form, you wanna do it with the best technique so that you can get the best results. So watch closely and after that, there's gonna be nothing left than just doing the work. So besides that, let's just get right to it. Our first push-up variation is going to be diamond pop-out push-ups. Compared to a regular push-up, this movement is more dynamic as we're constantly switching from a standard push-up to a diamond push-up. You can do this movement standard, or you can give yourself an extra challenge and make the movement explosive. Just make sure that each time you have good clean reps and make sure that you're breathing. Our next movement, we're going to work the core and do some shoulder tap planks. This is a step up from a regular plank as, again, the movement is made more dynamic and challenging by adding movement. For the ultimate challenge, do this movement with your feet together. To regress things, simply straddle your legs to give yourself a wider base. Most important, make sure that your core stays engaged the whole entire time and breathe. Next is going to be core compression. With this movement, you will experience some pain and discomfort, so don't worry, it's normal. It looks easy, all we're doing is lifting our legs, but actually our hip flexors, core, hamstring flexibility, and more are all being tested. For this movement, you want your legs to be completely straight and you want to slide your hands as far forward as possible. This brings your chest towards your legs and creates that good core compression that we want. Key points for this movement. Make sure your hands are flat on the ground or if you need to make it easier, you can be on your fingertips. Also, don't lean back, but really get the benefits of compression by sliding the hands forward. Lastly, really flex your glutes and legs don't let there be a bend in the legs and try to be pencil straight the whole entire time. Now our last movement is going to be the one where we go all out and leave everything in the set. Explosive 180 tuck jumps. The movement is simple. We're jumping with all of our power, driving the knees to the chest and rotating 180 degrees each time. The goal is to make the movement continuous and smooth. Practice it before you do the full set, and as you practice on making the movement continuous, make sure you're breathing and make sure that you're really being sharp with your movements. Rotate 180 degrees, not 90, not 170, not 160, but 180. Beautiful, clean movement is the goal. After you've understood and practiced all these movements, now it's time to put it all together. Let's get it. my beautiful people so whoop there it is again so these movements as you can see it's nothing too crazy it's nothing too complex but just simple movements if you do them with the right form the right technique and you push yourself you can get some serious work and that goes for anybody even me so I hope you're learning from this. I hope that you can really take action on this. Keep pushing forward, getting that 1% better physically, mentally, and spiritually. And you know how it goes. As always, as always, as always, have a gainful day. Peace. 